Okay. Hi, my name is Colleen. I'm a respiratory therapist at Niagara Falls Hospital, which is GNJ's. Um, I've been in RT for 22 years. Um, I'm here to support the uh, Douglas Memorial Hospital because my field acknowledges a lot of breathing problems and um, these doctors, between Dr. Monkley, Dr. Doug Leash, Dr. Kim Schur, um, I get called in a lot, unfortunately, because my profession is only there for 12 hours at my GNJ hospital, but when we came one Niagara Health System, Douglas Memorial became um, part of us. So last year, I've been called in many times for Douglas Memorial Hospital on top of my um, working as an RT full time. And I have to admit, several times these patients that have come to my hospital, if it wasn't for the sake of these doctors, which is Dr. Mungley, Dr. Dagalish, and Dr. Kim Schur, these patients would probably not survive because their expertise saved them. One minute, two minutes, I jail with breathing. Breathing is my job. Um, it takes one minute at that point, so if not, if they have a heart attack or an overdose or so on, at that point when they're intubated, which means a breathing tube, um, these doctors would do that at that point there. Without their help, when they're transferred, when I get called in um, at the hospital, they'll call me to come at the hospital. Sometimes I can't even get there before then I'll meet them at the hospital, but they come these doctors out of their own, um, um, their own, um, I guess their own risk. They come to my hospital at Niagara Falls and met me there. And Dr. Kim Schur, especially, I've seen him many times. He will actually manually bag these patients, and that means breathing for these patients to get to my hospital, and I'll take over at that point. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that um, without Douglas Moore Hospital being opened. These people, which honestly, their life is in these doctors' hands. If they had to be transported to Niagara Falls at that point, uh, who knows what would happen because you're talking a lifetime situation between 25 minute drive, it takes two minutes, one minute, whatever, but it doesn't matter. At that point, brain damage can occur, heart attacks occur. I've seen it hands on. So, all I'm trying to say is that. I hope Douglas Memorial Hospital will stay open because uh, these doctors are excellent. They have their expertise. Me, myself being a specialist also, a respiratory therapist, um, I take over at that point. But what happens is um, in that time, and that's what I'm going to say, that distance of the driving from one area to the other, you're talking life, life or death. So I'm an expert too, and I've been at it for 22 years, and you know what, I've seen a lot. All I'm trying to say is that it doesn't mean that, um, can I say this, um, I live in Fort Erie, um, 25 minutes away myself, and I've seen bad in, um, situations that patients have not survived due to that distance. So these doctors are awesome, and this ER should stay open because you're talking life or death.